during the course of this tutorial, I'm going to create a pair of earrings using the add a bead component. To accommodate the closure function, the sterling black finish hoop has a hole stamped within the wire at one end, enabling an upturned 90 degree turn to slot in at the opposite end. The function of the adder bead is to enable beads or charms to be threaded onto the hoop then simply finish the closure by turning up the end at the finish of the design. The design I'm showing you is a simple combination of charms created with beads and components alongside separate beads to sit between the charms to make everything sit comfortably next to each other. In this design we demonstrate techniques using our charm pin. Using this method we create small charms of different lengths with small variations, however each charm consistently has a 4mm stardust bead within it. The first charm pin is the shortest, consisting only of a stardust bead. The second charm consists of a stardust bead and a Swarovski crystal bicone bead in light chrome, graduating the length of the charm. The centre charm is exactly the same as the second charm, but by adding three links of mini belcher chain, the length is further increased, keeping a smooth graduation. The fourth and fifth charms are replicas, mirroring charms two and one on the opposite side. Threading the beads onto the hoop between the charms is all about creating a space between the charms that blends and fuses the beads and charms to visually become one with the hoop. This 45mm diameter hoop gives a dramatic framework for creative designs. The unique sterling silver black finish of our stardust beads and components energises the new colour of stone produced by Swarovski. The resulting combination creates a dynamic pizzazz. The final task is to bend the wire of the hoop slightly over 90 degrees. The turn up should be approximately 3 to 4 millimetres, no less, to create a secure attachment when the closure is in place. 